Welcome to Costa Rica. My name is Johnny from Johnny Knows Costa Rica. Today we're talking about gringo pricing. Everybody talks about it. It's a thing, I should say, but it's a real thing. But this happens anywhere in the world. It even happens in my hometown of, in California. You actually get a price for being a California resident versus being an out-of-state resident when you're visiting Disneyland. No different here in Costa Rica. Sometimes it happens in certain places. Certain places apply it, certain places don't. I'm gonna tell you a little, little secret about how you can work around that and what you should do before going to an area and how maybe you can navigate it and be prepared for it. Now, if you hear the background, that's called a chicharra. I kind of live in the nature. Um, it's something that I chose, but you might hear in my videos, I'm not going to put it out before they don't start up because I think it's part of Costa Rica. Let's get back to what we're talking about gringo pricing. If you're going to the beach areas here in Costa Rica, I invite you before you hit that tourist town, Tamarindo, Flamingo, Coco, just a few to name, or even Las Catalinas, that you visit the outskirts of the towns on each of these towns because typically the pricing there is much more, I would say, fair. The other one is fair for you, for you as an American and me as an American because the price is not as elevated as what we're used to in the U.S., but it's still elevated. I want you to know that these restaurants are just as good. They're just not in town. So when you're going to these tourist towns, make sure that you visit these smaller towns. A lot of times they're called sodas. They are smaller menu, a little bit more of a faster food. But it gives you an advantage when you're out. And you know what? I'm going to stop at the soda. Of course, hey, take a look at it. Make sure that it's decently uh, from the outside and that there's nobody picking their nose. <laughs> Just kidding. Now, it's all these sodas have to go through the Ministry of Health to be approved. And they're randomly checked. So you can feel according. The other thing, too, is that don't worry about the water. The water here in Costa Rica, 95% of all of Costa Rica is fine. There could be areas that sometimes there is a pipe that breaks like any other country that you got to be safe, but 95% of the time you're going to be okay. And then the other thing too is that when you see that pricing for that foreigner, ask. They may just have a pricing for seniors and you may just qualify. My name is Johnny from Johnny Knows Costa Rica. Pura Vida.